The more that you live, the more that you explore your experience, and the more you come to know yourself more completely, you know, the benef- the assets you have and the deficits you have in whatever situation you have to happen to be in, the more that you have explored and encountered all of yourself, you know, not just your demons but your talents a lot of people leave out their talents and their assets so the more that you know that and that you you um can hold yourself in the habit of coming to consciousness present consciousness the more you can do that the more you know other people the more you know other people, you know the person in front of you, and you know what they might be experiencing because it's not incredibly different from your existence as a human being and as a divinely human being. It's very similar, and you become more and more convinced of that, and your heart opens spontaneously so that you don't even have to think, What shall I do about suffering? It's like, there's a, there's a movement to minister to the other who is not other th- from yourself, not other than yourself. And that's what I find is just like in the moment to act. And it doesn't always mean to be act with, you know, kind sweetness. I've found myself sometimes that it means to bring... Um, something that the other person might experience as confrontation. And that is also taking your part in the whole unfolding of the universe. So that it's sometimes it's important that the real feedback is that is needed is to remind the person in front of you of the limits. And actually, Many times I've had it expressed to me, thank you, I like knowing that you see that and that you are kind of like reflecting to me another way of looking at this. So what am I saying? I see, feel like I'm going everywhere. But uh, <laughs> Well, you're pointing out that responding to suffering isn't all, you know, sweet and, you know, that responding right. to suffering can look a lot of different ways. And I really appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, it can call forth the warrior in you, you know, to say, get a grip, come on, let's get with it, you know, and I'll help you do it, and we can be together in this. You know, you're not just putting it off onto them, but you're understanding because you understand yourself that love and support sometimes comes in the form of boundaries and discipline. And feedback which might in the first instant be taken as negative. So you just become stronger. I used to say this, that this will call forth the spiritual warrior in you. But the warrior is essentially deeply compassionate Mm -hmm. and benign in protecting the truth and protecting the... uh, opportunity in the world for the truth to be known you know Mm, i love that yeah yeah that concept of the 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 spiritual warrior and standing Mm -hmm. standing Standing, is true yeah and and what's for what's true and also what i heard and what you're saying is standing for the evolution yes standing for the movement for the evolution right thank you very much sandra for that you're welcome